Hey everybody, so we're back here along with the Archangel. We got a couple of rotors down there, you know, for your brakes on your car that we're going to shoot a few different calibers at to see what exactly happens to the rotors. Now we got some 357 Magnum, some 38 Special Plus P, 9mm, 22, we got um, 223 Full Metal Jacket, 223 hollow point, 556 full metal jacket, 556 hollow point, and 762 by 39 in the tool of steel case ammo. And we're going to shoot all these calibers at them just to see what these routers, routers, rotors do. <laughs> Man, I can't speak English sometimes. So hey, it happens. <laughs> so we got the Archangel here. He's first time out here on Silverback shooting range. Glad What's to up, have everyone? you. And we're going to have some fun shooting at these rotors with all these different guns. Here, let's show you what we got out here. We got a few toys. We brought out the SKS, the little Mossberg Plinkster, my Taurus Model 66, my uh, Pac-9, my Stevens 320 12 gauge, and my Freedom and Friendship build. Going to have to excuse us for a couple minutes. We're going to get loaded up and get all the cameras set up and we're gonna start shooting. See you in a few minutes. All right, so we're gonna get started first with the 22. Uh, we're gonna take a couple shots each. Got two rotors down there, and we'll shoot and just see what happens. I really don't think the 22 is gonna do much. What do you think? I don't think 22 is gonna do much. Yep. All right, let's give it a shot and see what you got. All right, here you go. Now we're going up to nine millimeter. Trust the old pack nine. You shot. Now this would be my first time with the pack nine, so you're gonna like it. <laughs> Boom, boom. All right, so let's see. There's a couple of 22 shots on there. Uh, I think this one is probably nine millimeter right there. Um, Actually, that one was the 22 that with the one nine is on top. 22. Same here, 22, nine on top. Yep, nine, 22. But the Those nine punctured. Nine mils right there, yeah. That blew the holes through it, but this is a thinner part of the rotor itself, so kind of expect that out of that. But out of these thicker parts, it's just bouncing off. 38 Special Plus P. Uh, hopefully, I can hit the target. <laughs> did I hit it or did I miss it? Like straight up. Here we go 357 Magnum time. The big boy. All right. So let's see. We know the nine millimeter did that. That's probably a 38. And this one here with the big dent in the crack is probably the 357. Uh, we got one that grazed right here. Ooh, another one that hit right there. Alrighty. Let's see. Oh. The last one I can graze inside. <laughs> yeah, right inside the hole. <laughs> Bam. Yeah, right there. I think that's a 38 special. And that one's probably a 38 right there too. All right, first two rounds in here are the 223 full metal jackets and then the 556. So I'm going to take the 223, I'll pass the 556 off to him and we'll see what we get.
Well, we definitely put a bigger hole in that one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Now. These next ones are the 223 hollow points. Knocking that thing over. <laughs> now the 556 five, hollow point. Those are two new holes right here, right here, one right and right there. here. Oh, and one right there. That one looks like a new, whole new lug nut hole. <laughs> All right, so it went in the front, and there it is. It's part yep. of the jacket. Did not. It made a big dent in the back, though. Did it bow it? It bowed it. Bow it. <laughs> All right, we got to reset that one now. Did we even hit this one? Looks like we got it right there and made this hole bigger. I think that's all we did to this one. That's new. Well, let's rotate them and reset them. <laughs> now we're bringing out the 762 by 39. All right. that one hit that was a hit but we'll find out what it all did yeah I don't know if it did much <laughs> he just took out the stick oh I seen the sparks come up that one. <laughs> so did I <laughs> he just took out the stick all right, so that is new. That's the 762 by 39 right there. It blasted all the way through. Let's check the backside. Look what it did to the backside. Good Lord Almighty. He even cracked it across the top. Yep. Right on. Okay. That did better than the 556 or 223. I don't well, know what we hit on this one. Double connection we did on that one. Oh, yeah. That blew right through that side piece there. All right. <laughs> I have a kick. <laughs> yeah. Slugs always have a kick. Ooh. All right, let me see. Give me some of that. <laughs> I like that 30 inch barrel on there, too, right? Yep. Did you already put another round in there? Uh, no. No. <sighs> Look at the steam. Steam, steam baby. Okay. Red is dead. What do we get here? Oh, empty. What fun is that? All right, I'm betting they just kind of bounced off. It's just all lead. I'm betting it tore it up. I'll definitely tore that one up in the center here. I think that hole <laughs> is from the slug. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That one's from the slug, and that new one there is from the slug. But I think that's all we hit. Just the soft part. All right, that's all we got for this one. We uh, had a little bit of fun. We blew some holes in some rotors. So uh, don't, don't trust your car too much if somebody's shooting at you with some bullets and don't think those rotors are going to save you. <laughs> or somebody's trying to come out, you're trying to come out to you with a car. You know where to take them out at. That's right. You hit them rotors right there by the lug nuts. And those suckers will come right apart. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Have fun. Peace.